Yo, welcome to Koichi Garage. We've got a brand new 2022 Subaru WRX sedan in the shop. Uh, Gianna, what do you think of the looks of it? You like the wheels? It's got a nice butt. I like the plastic. Plastic fender <laughs> flares. The hood scoop. How legit is the hood scoop? Oh, wow. That's very legit it's got a nice lip on it yeah I think exteriorly it's a good look for modern cars I think they're messing them up I mean Lexus makes a couple good ones but uh, yeah Subaru nailed it so let's have a look under the hood tidy I gotta hand it to him tidy nice and clean no useless plastic all the pieces of plastic have function, like not shredding your fingers when the belt's spinning. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. Um, it's got an interesting intake tube. So the air box here um, sucks in air from right under here, and then it goes down uh, through the frame area and then comes up around the front of the engine into the intercooler. So that's a new routing. It used to just go from here through here into the intercooler um, so that's pretty neat and they still make the really accessible oil filter which is cool but let's raise it up and see what we're doing underneath the vehicle yeah so up underneath aluminum control arms hotness no useless plastic under here mostly steel and a really compact exhaust that comes off the left side or driver's side of the engine. I am so used to seeing super exhausts coming off the passenger side. But this is all so brand new and so clean. And look at this. Yeah, you got your drive line right up there above the exhaust, but beautiful exhaust work. Wow. Very smooth. Dual muffler, tailpipe, big old Y. Oh, look at the differential. Look at the heat sinks on that, beautiful. So symmetrical all wheel drive. So let's happen when I, see what happens when I spin one wheel in the back here. Oh, I can see the front wheels wanting to turn too. You see that? That's, that's real all wheel drive. That's all wheel drive all the time. Turn one wheel and all the wheels turn. My automatic's not like that. It has a uh, center differential that engages and disengages. Um, but this is this is all wheel drive all the time. This is a super sporty, super lovely, very nice all wheel drive system. And so it's probably got thicker spring rates, thicker springs, thicker sway bars. Cause this car, I, I drove it before I brought it in. It's tight. It's mad tight, yo. Um, tighter than the last generation for sure. And I'm talking tightness, steering, suspension, throttle, brakes, everything is just more immediate. The shifter, I don't know if this guy upgraded his shifter. I'm gonna have to ask him if he put an STI shifter in it, but it's money. I just um, worked on a uh, 2018 uh, Super Cross Track, and it's some manual as well, and it's, sloppy compared to the shifter that's in this car i am uh color me impressed let's go for a ride and check out the interior so let's see how it feels to be inside this thing it is crispy clean brand new seats are nice up oh, cup holder check or bottle holder check um good switches and all that let me get the rack out of the way here so we can go here we go get a good view of this door panel how are these switches so nice they don't stick like the old legacies or anything door speakers dash speakers yeah I don't know how it sounds but these seats are mm, 
Look at that. Who makes these? Are these Recaros? Manual seats, so less weight, I would hope and I would assume. Very comfy. What a nice fe feature, and they go all the way, way back. Look, he's still got the little safety first thing. But the dashboard is not very clean. Very, very clean. Look at the vents, man. These are very Star Wars inspired. Very classy. Wow, that's a big screen in the center of the car. All right, we're in a Tesla, I guess. Red line's at six, so not the highest. But we got turbo boost power. Fuel gauge. All that. Look at all these buttons. All these buttons. We got heated seats. Pretty nice. Back seats look look good. Clean. How's my visibility? Visibility is great. Lower the seat just a little bit. All right. I'm gonna head mount this and go on a test drive. All right. Cool. So there's the old one. That one has not lag, but oscillations, I would call it, where the, where when you're under, under boost, it kind of lurches, like the power comes on and off, like there's something going on with the valving um, of the wastegate or something. And I've noticed this car does not have issues like that. It's just a linear pull, and I'm really, really impressed. So let's see if we can impress Giano um, with some all-wheel drive. Um, gusto. Wow, first gear is over super quick. Next through second, and when the third pulling up at 80 miles an hour, very, very impressive. Like, and it's all very linear. It's just giving me what I want when I want it. And one of the things that, I mean, besides that, that's great. Like you expect good power, you expect things like that from modern cars, but the reaction on this steering and all the little bumps just feel absolutely taut, tight, crispy. Crispy is a good defining word. Like I don't like going taking cars around this corner because there's, there's a lot of bumps and stuff, but like it's immediately like reacting and I feel like I'm in a ton of control in this car. And yeah, I mean it, oh, and it stops too. I mean, yeah, I could use some race pads, but for just getting around, you know, going to get some groceries, that's, that's more than two thumbs up. How many thumbs up would you give this? Three, we're talking three thumbs here. Okay, can I, can I get by you guys? What is this guy doing? I'm worried. He's up. He's making U-turns. What is he? I'm concerned. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go back to the shop. Do a couple more pulls. Um. Man, the trucks around here. They kind of play by their own rules. He's still going in the center lane. <laughs> man. All right. Well, let's turn around right here. We'll use the truck lane. This guy's going camping. I like his style. Yeah, he's pulling in here too. Let's um, let's feel this engine power a little bit more. We won't give first gear a thrashing. It's really short. But second gear. That's a very satisfying pull. It pulls really well up in the red line. I'm a uh, I'm a big fan. And the gears are short, so you can just blast away. Oh, look at the rate of acceleration. Like, like once you're above 3,000, 3,500 3, maybe, it just, there's no, it's just pretty immediate. And it pulls more as you rev. So I think over 4,000 RPM, it pulls even harder. So we're at 3,000 right now. 
definitely by 4,000, we're, yeah, it pulls more and more. Yeah, we got up to 4,500. And it was making more power the higher the RPMs were going. Which is what you want to see. God, just look at the balance, man. I mean, there's no drama. When I'm in the mid corner and I'm, I'm steering with my gas pedal and I'm steering with my hands and it's just like, sure. I'm in love. Like, this is how I want cars to respond. Yeah, I'll take this any day over a lot of stuff on the market that I'm driving, that the customers bring me. This is three thumbs all day, every day, which is better than great. It's borderline awesome. I'd call this car awesome. I would be super delighted to drive this every day. Um, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't feel needy or lacking or anything. I think it's it's quiet enough. The interior is clean enough. Um, it's stylish enough, and it drives amazing. Like I drive so many different cars for so many different years, and this is an exceptional vehicle. I uh, highly recommend this car. So, do you have one? Do you want one? What are the model changes? You know, I think this is a brand new chassis, maybe even for. 2022 yeah leave me a comment um three thumbs if you can <laughs> that's a new thing we're just developing that rating system now so yeah hopefully um you enjoyed the video and um i'll catch you in the next one peace